Looking at all marginalia that are shown in Ida's exhibition at Hauser and Wirth, square features are shown, while others are rectangular and others still, still offer a very narrow and thin vertical surface. Many panel composition stand on top of each other, strewn about next to another, always a bit quirky together. They display an irregular correspondence where the play of forces exceed the play of forms in the dynamics of the figure. This Deleuzean relationship to form as transformational power of force is confirmed by en the entry port that Ida Appelbrock takes for her work, in which the sequence of panels and their composition, that is the composition of the forces amongst the panel, <coughs> is hardly linear. In the artist's words, I'm quoting again the same words, there is no narrative, no beginning, no end, you enter by the middle. And this to me, of course, echoes a lot Beckett, and it also echoes Duller's words, which are exactly the same, um, where entry ports proceed from the middle. Um, in the dialogue with Claire Parnet, Deleuze says, it is never the beginning or the end that are interesting. The beginning and the end are points. What is interesting is the middle. The English zero is always in the middle. Bottlenecks are always in the middle. Being them in the middle of a line is the most uncomfortable position. One begins again through the middle. And maybe uh, what we see about the Mona Lisa today is a kind of also thinking through the middle. I, I, I think that. In the middle, things get disconnected, A-centered. It is in the middle that things pick up speed, say also Deleuze, that's me too, and Guattari in Mille Plateaux. <coughs> this is what Ida forcefully forms, an acceleration of the middle and a partition of space knowing that to part is also to partake. 